Hello and welcome back to Art Therapy with Jen. Today I'm going to be doing a magazine collage page in my Ideas Art Journal. Oh my goodness, it's been a long time since I've said that, hasn't it? <laughs> and I'm trying this um, a little different style than I have in the past. I'm going to try to kind of talk my way through it as we go. Something I've been practicing. But yeah, let's just, let's just take a little flip through here. Let's get reacquainted with our old friend. And it's a little later and I have an overhead light on, so I'm going to play with the best way to minimize the glare as well. So bear with me, y'all. Bear with me. I just didn't get up early enough. Well, I've been up, but y'all know I didn't get to filming before the sun went down. So, there we go. Oh, I need to play around with these little doors and windows again. Oh, this is just a random filler page. <laughs> when I first started this journal, the way the binding is, it doesn't handle bulking up very well. So I got this idea that I was going to put these random pattern papers that I wasn't doing anything with in between. <laughs> I was like, Jennifer, you know that bulks it up, right? <laughs> so I quit doing that. But early on, um, I did that a lot. Gosh, I've been in, working in this journal on and off for almost three years now. Can y'all believe it? <laughs> like I said, I don't hurry. I like to get in here and kind of get a feel for the journal. That's how I get started. I haven't done collage since I finished my dystopian journal. And I haven't worked in this journal. I think I did a maybe a one magazine. Oh, I love that page. One magazine challenge page. Um... A little bit ago but other than that it's been a while oh I like that one too I have videos for a lot of these I think I have a playlist for this journal ideas art journal but I don't know what all materials we'll use definitely magazine we may just use magazine we may use markers we may use sprays I don't know ah here was the last one I did so been since November. I missed you, old friend. So I'm going to go ahead and skip a couple pages because, again, I'm trying not to bulk this up and I'm going to go back through later and I'll just end up gluing these pages together. I try not to tear these out because the way the stitching is, but that's a whole nother story, whole nother day. Y'all aren't here for all that. You're here for the magazine collage. <laughs> um, and I'm not sure what images I'm working with yet. So I have this, oh, shoot. I have this little uh, zip pouch here. It says pending page. And as I've been going through, I went through my stash and resorted. Um, and I just like to do that every year or so just to see if I'm holding on to images I don't really need to hold on to if they're ones I'll never use. Or just to get my inspiration going. That's some good decaf right there but um the splash of half and half <laughs> but um and I as I saw things that I thought could go on a page and that kind of inspired me I stuck them in here so let's see what we're working with do y'all like it when I go through like the whole process like this instead of speeding it up oh you're inspiring me friend so what I like to do I'm getting myself back in the groove of it because I haven't done this in a hot minute. I like to do my background first. So I'm just going to go through here. Set these background images around. Kind of see what we're working with. Looks like we have a lot of cool tones. Oh, how fun is that? That could be a background or a fussy cut. Okay, she's a people image, so we're not to you yet, ma'am. Nor you, ma'am. Okay, I have a lot of this type of blue filler. That could be nice. Not you either, ma'am. Ooh, for a fussy cut. Okay, I'm getting inspired. Ooh. Okay. Past Jennifer. You have done present Jennifer very well. Giving me some things to work with. Oh my goodness, yes. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm in love with this. Okay. I love the tone of these grains. 
So I got everything all set around. And it's just, I got to get back in the hang of this, y'all. It's been a while, you know. Some of y'all say, how do you, like, get back into it? I don't know. I don't know, but we're going to, we're just going to get started and start gluing things down and uh, hope for the best, right? So one thing that, um, actually, this is really just calling out to me. This whole city thing. So I'm just going to rip it in half. It's a big old image. And I almost want to, no, I kind of like that right there. Do we want that? Or, hold on. Oh. That's it. Okay. <laughs> so let's just start there. Let's just get something down that we can build off of. And hopefully, I'll try to glue fast. I've been trying to use up this other glue I have, but I'm like, no, I can't be worrying about that. Because <laughs> this type of collage, I don't know, it uses a lot more of my brain. That's why normally I do voiceovers with these, and it's kind of a challenge for me to talk this through. But we're trying it, right? Um, and I don't, I want to use my good old Elmer's. I know, you know, how soft or whatever the glue is. I don't have to think about it. We can just pop her on there. <laughs> and my go this is giving me dystopian vibes. I meant to do that one upside down, didn't I? Well, it's there now. <laughs> he just told me I'm meant to be this uh aligned this way and that's what it's gonna be. Alright. I'm so bad about that. I'll like fill stuff out and then I'll go to glue it. <laughs> And I'll turn it the complete opposite way, and I won't notice it till I go back and look through the videos. And, oh, got glue. We'll just put that glue right there. It don't hurt nothing. Get some of these corners down, because I always miss the corners. Get that glue down there, too. That won't hurt nothing. <laughs> Maybe I like this glue, because it's just so messy. Oh, love it. Okay, okay, looking good, and then I think, let me look and see, I'm really drawn to this, or am I? Actually, I'm really liking, is this too, oh shoot, far. Just kidding. I'm actually... <laughs> okay. So, maybe just a little bit less. Yes, that's going there. So, I don't want it to go across the middle. So, I'm just going to kind of get that with my finger. And then, just cut... Just because I don't want to bulk this book up any more than it needs to. Oh, I love that. I love that. So, just going to go on there. Oh, stick into that other glue. I, if this is the first time tuning into me, I am not. If like you're, you like are really not into working messy and stuff, you know, you got to wear gloves and you know, worried about getting stuff on your hands and everything. I'm I'm not that kind of crafter. So <laughs> I got to get my hands in there, which has got me in trouble before because I have had to go to work <laughs> with um, dye all over my hands before and everything else. So it was interesting. So I still have some of this greenery. Do we want to use it quite yet? I don't think so, but I'm going to hold on to these little bits. Are we feeling something like this? Oh, maybe. This I'm obsessed, but I don't know that it's going to go on this page with this bright blue quite yet. What else we got? I have this gray. 
Um, not quite. Ooh, maybe. Okay. Maybe right in the middle. Maybe, maybe. What about... What about this right up top here? How do we feel? I don't know. I was really feeling that, but now it's telling me it's not supposed to go on the page. Dang you. Okay, let's see this one that I didn't know was there that I daggone ripped apart. Let's just finish ripping it. Apparently that's where it was meant to be ripped. Hmm. Oh, I like that. I like that. Let me just... I guess that's where you were meant to be ripped, buddy. Well, this side's speaking to me. What What's going on on this side? <laughs> this is not going the direction that I thought it would go. But we're going to get her done. Okay. Now, how did I have that? I think like... About like... Here-ish? Oh, yeah. I like that. That's nice. Are you still not speaking to me? I like that now. Okay, this need to be on first. So, I understand. Now this makes sense to me. <laughs> See? This is why a lot of times I will voice over because I'm literally sitting here, just me and the magazine, having conversations. That's okay. I do that at work too. They've been training me on something and I literally, I have to have my notes and I have to have several drafts of my notes and then I have to talk myself through my notes. So It's still too blue, ain't it? You may just be saved for another day, my friend. But what about this super bright blue? It's just too blue, ain't it? Okay. I'm still feeling this. But where do you need to go? Do you need to go there? Up here? Here? Hmm. We do have this. I would have to take off this little part. I don't want it. It's too samey samey, ain't it? No, not quite. Hmm. What about you? I do really enjoy that, actually. We're just going to put her down. Don't question it. Just put her down. I didn't think you were going to go on there, friend. So we have these little crystals. Are we wanting to add some purple? Not quite. What about... I have this water. Oh. Oh. I have quite a few of these little water pieces. So this might be the blue that I was needing instead. This more... Yes. Yep, 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 yep. You're going there. Okay. This is more of a... It's not quite as a saturated blue, and it's got like a warm tone to it. Oh, I like that. I don't want to cover up this building here, so whatever I put up here, I want to be like kind of thin. So, okay, I need something right here. What we got? What if I put some of this there? Let's just tear something off. Oh, nice. And not quite that shape. Not that shape. That shape is not working for me. What if I tore the straight edge off? I 
Actually, I quite like that right there. But what's going to go there? Got this gray. Hmm. Not quite. Let's change the bottom a little bit. I don't like this big black spot there. Okay, and then change this a little bit. Hmm. And then, let's just, I can't take too much off, but I don't want this to be a straight edge. So let's hope I don't tear it too skinny. Guess I could always put some Sharpie underneath it, right? Okay. That's it. So let me cut this. Oh, it feels good to be doing this again. Okay, and I didn't, oh, I almost cut it too short, didn't I? Okay. Get that all glued up. Get her on there. I like this glue because I can move it around some. Okay, and then you're going to get, oh, I like that. Okay. Okay, okay. Nice. Oh, sugar. Okay. How is that? Oh, got a little corner coming up. You're all wrinkled and all discombobulated. <laughs> oh, that was on an inside cover, I guess. Now I need something right here. And I think I would like to put some of that greenery. Because I don't have any of that here. I have this piece I tore off. not quite I have to have it down to there actually no because I need something going across so what if we did it I don't like that or I could have some of this that covers too much I've got the blue what about, I tore that off of there. We just have the gray cloud. Okay, I actually even like that with the straight edge. So we're gonna cut right there. I just kinda make a little score in it with my neck. Oh, I like that, yes. And then we'll have one going across there. kind of fun to do collages as longer videos sometimes y'all kind of see my nutty oh wait we were going to do it like this right see I tell you I can't remember which way it's supposed to be orientated or is it oriented or orientated it's like when people say conversating I didn't even know that was a word but apparently it is I like it now let's see oh this feels good to do this Okay, now what do we want to put across here? Now do we want to bring in this orange? Actually, I want to bring in the green, I think. Can I bring in the green? Can we make it happen? I wish this had more of these light green tones. This has them darker. Where's that piece that I had? What if we... I wish it was this other way. What if we cut this part off because it's just white space anyway and just have it. I don't want it so matching though. Mm, I don't like that. 
Okay. What if we just do that? Okay. Boom, lock it. Okay, but let's make this a straight edge so it sits nice in the spine. Okay, I can dig it. I can dig it. Okay. Get that glued down. Okay, and then let me give her a once over here. And then, <laughs> let me get all my little scraps that I'm wanting to keep versus the one that needs to be thrown away. Because y'all know I like to clean up as I go. Let's see. I think I'm just going to look through these images as I put the backgrounds back in my bag. And just make sure I thought this one was going to be on here but it's it's not telling me that it has to be on there quite yet do we need a little island in the middle gosh that'll be fun not for this page but that's gonna be a fun little fantasy island I have a feeling I love my chair but not for this page so I'll put these all back in my pending page folder. Oh, I think I'm going to keep that. I could have put an image there. No, I think we're good. So, here is what the background looks like. Here. Oh, it looks like there's not much glare. And some of this, you might see some wrinkling and stuff. As that dries and that glue dissipates, that's going to minimize, hopefully. <laughs> I don't care. But that's kind of my background starting point. I wonder where this is going to go, y'all. I don't know. It didn't turn out one bit like I thought it was going to. But I'm going to let this dry for a few moments. And then I'm going to be back. And we'll figure out what people live on this page. I'm really <laughs> curious. Alrighty, so it's been a few minutes. So let's look through what people we got going on again. This was that random, I, I don't know, the one I didn't even know about. I think this one I saved because of this really haunting looking mask that I could fussy cut. Oh, I am just in love with this. Like, if I would have found this before I finished my dystopian journal, y'all, y'all ask me where I get like certain type of images. Like, I just find them randomly. I mean, look at this. That would have been perfect. Hey, that's in French. Why are you in French? I didn't have a French magazine. I don't know. I like this fussy cut. Her too. So the first thing I do, I try to decide if it's an image that I would probably use as a fussy cut. Which means that I would actually cut the girl or object like... These earrings, these will be a fussy cut for me. So if I was going to use them, I would go through and just cut them out, removing them completely from the background so that they're kind of like their own die cut. So that's what I do. So for her, what is behind here? Oh, hi, ma'am. Okay, so for her, I would not do a fussy cut. So I'm going to go ahead. Also try to think if I want... Um, straight lines or ripped lines. I think for her, I would do ripped, and I, then if I, as long as I don't rip it too close, I can always cut it in a straight line later. And this has a love story on there, so I may keep that. Oh, ma'am, ma'am, do you belong there, ma'am? Hold on, she may be, ma'am. <laughs> Do you belong on this page? That was not the direction I thought we were going. Okay. So, and then her. I just, I, I'm not gravitating toward her because I feel like if I used her 
I wouldn't do a fussy cut probably because it'd be just like I could cut around her dress and everything but where it's out of focus I just don't think it would ever look right if I did a fussy cut and she's just for this particular page I think it's too big of an image if that makes sense like she would be the whole page so I'm gonna go ahead and set her to the side for her I wouldn't do a fussy cut her hair would be really hard to do a fussy cut around because it's kind of blowing in the wind so she would just be one that I kind of tear the sides off ma'am do you belong there is this going I have never had images click this fast this the people part is usually the part I struggle with the most depending on how many images and I was just thinking before I come back in here I was like, I do not have enough people images. This is going to be crazy. Okay, we're just, I want this more. I don't like that shape where it kind of wings out there. Ma'am, do you, these might be my two ladies here. I hate it when it does that with that little. Come on now. That might be just what it's meant to be. Okay. Get those out of the way. Set them to the side. See, in my head, I was thinking we were going more this direction. But, I don't know. Or this direction. No, I don't think I'm going to use her today. Like, I was thinking that this, I don't know. I'm going to fussy cut her out real quick. Um, I'm going to pause the record and I'll be right back because y'all know how to cut. So, <laughs> we'll just, no need to see all that. Okay, and I just kind of did a rough cut around her sometimes. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to use an image. I won't go in and cut out all the little bitty details and stuff. But yeah, she does not belong on here. She belongs on another page somewhere. Huh. I did not see that coming. So she definitely lives here. Like, that is her home. She lives right there. My goodness. And then I guess... Is it going to be you? Right in the middle there? Let's just look back through. Or actually... What about these jewels? Let me fussy cut these real quick. Okay, so I got them mostly fussy cutted. Fussy cut, fussy cutted. Dear goodness, I love that. What? I really love that. Then have her down here. Do I want to make her a little narrower? No, I quite like her just like that, I think. Do we need to cut some off the bottom? I just kind of fold it over before I rip it to see her proportions. That would actually be nice. So if I can kind of get it at an angle there. So. Okay. Okay, and then I think I do just want to take a hair off all the way down, not just there. Okay, a little more. Ooh, not that much. Okay, I do like that. Bring that up. A little off the back. A little more off the top. Now, I kind of want to fussy cut her face. <laughs> Is that bad? Is that bad? I just, 
I don't know. I kind of want to fussy cut her. I'm just going to do it. I swear I'm going to ruin this. But that's what, it, um, that's what it's telling me to do. So that's what we're going to do. Sometimes I like to do a combo. Gosh, i got to be so careful around faces. I have ruined so many images fussy cutting poorly around side profiles. I could not even begin to tell you. Because if you cut something just a little off, they just don't look right. I think I got it. And the light's very poor because it's dark outside. So... That's it. Yes. That is it. And then the two jewels. Do we want them up and down? Or let me test her again. Is she... I just don't think she's for this page. So this is a new one for me. I think we're going to do the jewels. Okay. There's something special about these jewels, but I don't know quite what yet. And now I can make a decision. Oh, let me move this over the light glare. Now I can make a decision. Do I want these little blue parts dropping down? I kind of don't, so I'm going to cut those off. Oh, yeah. Do I want the diamond part up at the top? It's one nice thing when you got magazines, you can kind of make it however you'd like. Do we want to use these blue dots anywhere else? We might. I'll hold on to them. Okay. What about the... Okay, I do like the diamonds up top because it kind of plays on her earrings. So, we'll put that... What if we did it like... I like this right here. Okay. Right there. Let's move that a little further down, maybe. Move that a little further up. Not quite. Is that what I want? It just seems so weird to me. What if we did them um, like this? Instead of, oh, now we're getting somewhere. Do it like that. Do it like that. Then, I like that. I don't know why. I've never done a page like that, but I like it. I'm going to go with it. What is this page becoming? I don't know. <laughs> so let's go with it. feel good about her. Gosh, she just belongs there, doesn't she? Okay. I'll just tear that off. I never get all the way to the edges. <laughs> I just go back through. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and glue these little dudes down. I just, like I said, I just get all in there. <laughs> Little glue never hurt nobody. Uh, let me move you over just a pair. I like that. It adds more visual interest to that little spot. I like it. And I'm just doing it. It don't matter if it gets on the page. Again, it ain't going to hurt nothing. Just smear that around. It's going dry clear. Ain't going to hurt a dang thing. Okay. Oh, sugar. <laughs> Unless you rip it. Then you can just glue it back together though, right? <laughs> okay. 
And where did I want this one about yay? That's, that's where you're going because that's where I stuck you. I don't know y'all. This one is perplexing. Let me put these other people images up. And then I got that little word off of there. I don't know, y'all. Where, th where do you think it's hidden? This one's kind of perplexing to me. I actually think I'm going to let this one lie for a, a while. It's gotten real dark outside. And it's kind of hard for me to see to collage. So... I have, I'm not, I don't wor have work tomorrow, so I think I'm going to let it just sit and marinate, and I'm going to come back tomorrow with fresh eyes, which will just be a few seconds for y'all, and uh, I'm going to come back and see with fresh eyes where it needs to go, what materials we may need to add, and I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> it's perplexed me, oh, I forgot to do the, oh, let me get that glue bit, there we go. Here's what it's looking like. I forgot to hold the book up. But yeah, I don't know. I've never done a page kind of this way. We just go with it though, right? I don't know. I think something magical. I have to see what words we find. And then I think that'll tell me where we need to go next. But yep, I'll see y'all here in a bit for the next step. Alrighty, y'all. So it is the next morning. As y'all can see, the lightning's a little better. And let's do some words. Oh, well, before we do that, let's just take a look here. Here's what we're working with. I still love it this morning. It's still giving me some, some, I don't know, some, some thinking energy on there. So I got a new word box now. We're trying it out. <laughs> I had to upgrade because I have so many words. And... I'm just going to start, let's see, prop that up on my coffee, oh wait, let's get a drink of the coffee first, oh yeah, now let's go through the word box, and I'm just going to, ooh, I like this, and I just go through and whatever sticks out to me, um, I normally lay it around, but just for filming, we'll, we'll, um, just set it on the page here. Community, maybe. Ooh, fall into place. I kind of like that, too. The winding way forward. I'm getting, like, hopeful vibes from this page, if that's what, if that makes sense. And sometimes I have, oh, rediscover. Sometimes I have to go um, through this box four or five times, but this one's coming together all right. Oh, I like this. One little shift in the mind can move you toward bad or good, darkness or light. I like that. Ooh, I'm finding this comfort in my own skin that I've never known before. I like this. Okay, I'm just going through, get the fire going maybe. I might not have to look too much. <laughs> this one, this page is coming together. I've missed you, collage. Just like this, let's see. I like a time to move forward. I feel like she's in a place where she's moving forward. I like reconnect. Okay, and I'm just going to keep going through here. And I'll be back when we got some to sit around and um, play around with. Alrighty, so I've picked a few more out. Maybe that new word box is working because I just, things were, I don't know, I'm weird. Like, I like to have like the right box for the right thing and I'm always searching for and I don't know I don't know we all have our little quirky ways of crafting right but I'm gonna see the words I have and I'm gonna set them all around y'all know I like to 
set everything around. Let's get another drink of coffee. Oh man, ain't nothing better than just a hot drink in the morning when it's a cold morning, is there? So here's what I got. <laughs> got a cat hair there. Got a world of difference. The winding way forward. Forget perfect, be happy. The things you find. One little shift in the mind can move you toward bad or good, darkness or light. A clean slate. Good. Get inspired. Every day is an opportunity to love the way you live. Unexpected. Fall into place. Day by day. Step by step. Getting the fire going. Um, reconnect. Rediscover. Community. A time to move forward. My, I'm finding this comfort in my own skin that I've never known before. And I wanted to go back to that New York. The one of possibility. Um, anonymity of disguise. I don't know. What do y'all feel like the, the, the vibe is coming? And then I'm just going to start placing some on the page just kind of intuitively. I think this one really spoke out to me. I'm going to put it where she is. And I'm just going to cut away some of that white space or I guess brown space <laughs> in this one. Whatever you want to call it. All that extra stuff. And usually when I'm putting them in my stash, I leave quite a bit of that on because I'd rather have the choice, you know. But, and then I got to see, does that, I don't know if that, does that need to go there? I don't know. I think right now I'm feeling like it needs to be on the page. But I was feeling that and then the shape of it, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I like this, the things you find. Again, I'm going to cut the... I'm going to cut it kind of close to the font there. And I'm going to put this, I want to think, maybe around the jewels. Because I'm kind of getting this little story in my head. Y'all know I like to make my little stories. She's at a new place. Or maybe she's just in a new mindset. And she's kind of looking out. You know, she's out in this city or whatever. And these jewels are just things that she's seeing. You know, she's got a new lease on life. She's, you know, whether it's she actually moved geographically, mentally, whatever. And these little jewels are the things she's looking around and seeing. And it's like she's getting inspired. She's, um, she's finally seeing a path forward maybe after feeling like things have not moved. In so long I like day by day step by step like there's hope again and these represent kind of like inspiration hope or even like I try to think I left my hometown when I was 18 I didn't come back for you know well over a decade and I came back and I see things differently so maybe it's something like that you see inspiration in things that you found so just, you know, mundane before. Maybe something like that. I like the things you find. Because we even have here, we have rediscover, reconnect. So what if we did reconnect? Maybe, oh, I like that. I kind of like that. I uh, also like this. One little shift in the mind can move you toward bad or good, darkness or light. Because I don't know, she's given me like someone who's who's been through some lessons and learned some things. And now they're seeing their whole world in a whole different lens. They're seeing a path forward that didn't exist before. And it's like hope because you just you're just floating around just lost. Maybe this needs to go by her. Okay. 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 We're getting somewhere. Okay. I kind of like. Um, I don't know. I like unexpected, but I'm not sure. 
I might like, let me cut this. This is the get the fire going. Let's see. Okay, yes, I do like that. Day by day, step by step, get the fire going. Okay. A world of difference. I'm just going to cut these long edges all there. A world of difference. Okay, maybe. Maybe. I do, I do kind of like the winding way forward, though. But do I want to cover up that building? Thinking about it. Okay, I also like this. Forget perfect. Be happy. Lord, I cut this out all mangled. Do I want it as a long strip? I kind of want to cut it. And then what if we stagger that and kind of make it off the building there? Okay, I like that. So I may move that. A clean slate, maybe. I like that it's kind of plain. A clean slate. Because these images are actually images of like trash in the ocean. As depressing as that is. <laughs> I want it maybe a time to move forward or a time for forward motion. Lord of mercy, I didn't even read that correctly. It's a time to move forward in my mind. Can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> okay. Do we like that? I really like this brown, but I'm trying to find the correct place for it. Put that there. That's so funny because before I put the words on, I had this whole idea of all this extra stuff I was going to add to this page. And now it's like completely different because I had like my white out pens and my paint pens ready to go, but... Isn't that so weird, y'all? I'm going to see about this. Every day is an opportunity to love the way you live. That's why I don't plan things out. Very rarely do they end up anywhere in the vicinity of where I thought they would. So I just kind of go with it. So... I like that. Okay, so that plays off that build in there. I feel like I need something up here. That's another thing, too, just coming back and um, trying to find ways to kind of get in with the community and seeing the good things that are there and not just the terrible things. Do I want a clean slate? I don't know. Maybe she's not giving me clean slate vibes. Community? No. Fall into place, maybe? Oh, there she is. Okay. I still feel like this is a little, and this is a little. Hmm. Maybe get inspired, but I feel like I already have that blue, blue there. What if this was over here? <gasps> yes, ma'am. That's where you go. Okay. I don't know why that's a ma'am, but what if, what about just good? Good community. Oh, unexpected good. Do we need anything else? Let's see. I feel like if I made this too, this get inspired. There she is. Okay. 
so let me put these words up and we'll get these glued down and then we'll we'll see what she looks like and see if I feel like I need to add other things this was not going the direction like I said I was thinking in my head I'm gonna get my white paint out we're gonna do this we're gonna do that but I'm not feeling that now I don't know I don't know let me glue these down and then we'll take a look at it alrighty so I got them glued down I think I did all right getting them glued in the same spot this time I just saw this little thing lifted up <laughs> said I'm the world's worst at getting glue to the edge I just hope for the best and then if I see it oh and getting glue but I get it all over the page <laughs> but I'm the world's worst at getting glue to the edge and if I see it stuck up later I just glue it down I mean ain't no ain't gonna hurt nothing now I'm trying to think of what I want to do like do I want to sharpie in let's just do it let's just do it cuz I'm just thrown for a loop cuz I had all these ideas where I was gonna paint these lines and do all this stuff and that's just not what this page is meant to have now so but I do think it might be nice and you could do black paint for this or whatever y'all know I just like my sharpie sometimes I ain't worried about getting the line straight or who cares okay I'm just gonna go around and, oh sugar and that's how you really see when you miss your edges too <laughs> when you're trying to run a sharpie over them I don't know it just kind of like frames it and you could put a um, um, a paper in between this page and the previous page because it might get sharpie on that previous page but that's all right that just adds a little extra okay and I'm left-handed so y'all will see me yeah look at that I missed all those edges some people like will send comments and it's like how can you always get this like this I, I don't <laughs> I just I'm not worried about it oh yeah I like that black border around there and I probably should have trimmed this off but that's okay we'll just how about how about that <laughs> that's trimmed off now okay. that one too I'd be all right and then if you're like me you just have to watch and make sure you don't slide and get on something if you do you can fix it or make it seem like it was on purpose so that is a okay I've been having fun with this one I was so worried about this y'all because it's just been so long I'm like do I even remember how to do that <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah I like that I mean, I'm trying to think. I don't even... I was going to add some curly cues and stuff, y'all. But I'm I'm just tickled. Oh, this kind of sunk in. Let me do some more there. I'm just kind of tickled the way it is. I like it. Like, I was thinking about adding, like, temper or tattoos and all this stuff. But <laughs> look at my arm. Can y'all see it? Hold on. <laughs> look at that. I got Sharpie on my arm. Oh, and the side of my hand. Here's a perspective on what it's like being left-handed. So <laughs> In school, you had the graphite lead just all up your arm. But <laughs> welcome to being left-handed. But honestly, and I, then I was thinking about doing some like white gel pen curly cues or something. But honestly, I think I'm just going to leave it as is. Is that weird? I just, I like it. Oh, and I'm going to remember to date this sucker. I'm terrible about that. Let's do the date right here. So, as I'm filming this, it's 2-21-22. That's, I started it yesterday, but. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it. I don't think I need to complicate it or add any extra things to it. I'm good with it. I like the the kind of story that came about and the vibe of it. Let's take a look at it there. 
I just like it. We got rediscover. I'm finding this comfort in my own skin that I've never known before. The things you find, you know, these are representative of those just little, you know, just moments you find in the mundane, right? Get inspired, reconnect, a time to move forward, fall into place, forget perfect, be happy. Every day is an opportunity to love the way you live, unexpected good. One little shift in the mind can move you toward good or bad, darkness or light, day by day, step by step, and get the far going. I like that. I like it. I feel like it's it, it's kind of inspirational, but I feel like she has an edge to it, like there's some glue. <laughs> She's been through some things, and she has just turned over a new leaf, and she, basically, she realized she has, like, as they say, zero Fs to give. And she's going to look for things in her life. She's no longer going to look to see and base her life on what other people are doing and everything. She's going to go out. She's going to forget perfect. She's going to be happy. And she's going to love the way that it is and find these little moments and reconnect in life. Because it doesn't have to look like everybody else. Does that make sense? It's kind of the vibe I'm getting from it. Like she's kind of got a new lease on life. Like a new mental shift and um huh i got permanent marker there too like i said this is not i am not a little clean crafter getting everything straight wearing gloves all that stuff maybe that'll wear off by the time i go to work tomorrow if not i'll have a fun story to tell but yeah let's take a look at it what y'all think that was fun that was fun. This was just, it's just one of those things. It just blows my mind because I was thinking I was going to use that like sci-fi mask and looking lady. And then I thought we were going to get all in the paint with this. And um, I just let it go where it needs to go. And I'm happy with it. Had a lot of fun with it. I think we might call this one unexpected good. I'm not sure, but y'all will know. But thank y'all so much for watching. Um, I know this is a longer form of the ones that... Um, I do like a collage page. I've been enjoying just doing these talking longer videos. Now that I have a way to kind of talk into my microphone as I'm working. <laughs> Bought like a $15 little stand. It's like, why did I not do that before? <laughs> but anyway, thank y'all so much. I hope y'all are having a fabulous day. And I will see y'all soon with another art video. Bye guys.